I'm Jeremiah here with Equipter. Today we're going to go over the control and safe operations of your Equipter 5400. All right, the Equipter 5400 is powered by a 13 horse Honda engine. Uh, it is a carbureted version of the engine. Up here at the control station, we have your throttle control. We have the drive lever forward and reverse. Uh, up top here, we have your power on, we have your start stop, your steering, and then over here on the left, uh, manual parking brake lever. And then down here, we have your wheel lift and your uh, wheel latch uh, lift release pin. And then finally up here, we have a docking station for the belly pack, the remote control system for the 5400 uh, to operate it. So in short, this controls your outriggers, your four outriggers. It controls the dump box and it controls the crane itself. So depending which mode you're in, these four paddles will control uh, the individual functions. To start up your Equipter 5400 and to be able to pair the belly pack to the unit and begin operating it, here's what you need to do. So starting here at the engine, um, we do need to have the engine key switch in the on position. And over here, of course, your choke and your fuel shut off. Um, so that's those controls. And then on up here to the belly pack, now that we have the key switch in the on position, we are gonna, at the operator stand here, move this switch, turn the power to the on position. Now I'm gonna pull the e-stop on the belly pack and move this toggle switch here on the right up. That it turns it on. Once this light comes on as green, I'll push it up one more time to enable the pairing now that green light begins to flash uh, rapidly. Now you're ready to start the engine. The remote start is actually up here. You just push the green button. All right, so to shut off the engine of the Equipter 5400, if you hit the e-stop on your belly pack, that is gonna kill the engine and of course, uh, unpair your belly pack from the 5400. Um, now, just during your normal operating time, you are able to keep or leave this key in the on position. Um, that's not a problem. And the biggest thing is going to be this power switch up here. If you do uh, leave the unit turned off for a period of time, you do want to turn this power switch off or it is able to drain the battery on the 5400. And then of course for startup again, you just run through that same procedure again for startup. All right, so driving the 5400, first thing you wanna do is disengage your parking brake. Next, this is the drive lever. So pushing it forward, you're, the 5400 is gonna go forward towards the hitch. Pulling it towards you is gonna go in reverse. And then up here, is actually your steering paddle. So pushing it away from you is gonna turn right. Pulling it towards you, the hitch is gonna to come towards you essentially or turn left. Okay, now we're gonna walk through how to set up the 5400 uh, to safely operate the crane itself. So basically what we're gonna do here is lower all four outriggers and one thing to keep in mind, these front outriggers especially need to be down. Once they are down far enough, there is gonna be a, this light here, the system enable light is gonna turn green, indicating it is now safe to operate the actual crane. So to operate your outriggers, of course, with your belly pack paired, this toggle switch here on the left needs to be in the setup mode up. And then from here, these four paddles will operate each individual outrigger. So your uh, front two outriggers, so pulling it down is going to lower the outrigger. Pushing it up is going to bring the outrigger back up. Same left and right. For your rear outriggers, down or up, 
depending which way you push it. To enable the slide, you actually need to push and hold this button here on the left and now operate the individual paddle uh, for those rear outriggers to slide them to the desired location. Okay, now that the Equipter 5400 is set up with the outriggers out and down uh, and your green light is on, now you're ready to start operating the actual crane. So on your belly pack on the left side, we're going to go from setup, toggle that down to crane mode. Now each of these four is going to operate a different function. So starting here on the left, this is going to slew or rotate your crane. The next one is actually the dump bed. Uh, pushing it up dumps the bed, of course bringing it back down. This one here is going to operate your extensions on the crane. So pushing it up is going to extend the crane, pulling it down is going to retract. And then finally over here is actually the crane lift uh, or boom up and down. So pushing it up goes up, pulling it towards you is going to bring it back down. And that is how you operate the crane from the belly pack. All right, a few things to note here with the Equipter 5400 on the crane especially. Uh, to get to the maximum reach, there is a manual extension here. Uh, so there's a cotter pin here and a pin you need to release. Once that is out, you simply pull this out. Reinstall the pin and cotter pin. And now you're able to get out to the max reach. One other key thing to note on the crane is it is not a continuous rotation. Um, to store the crane, these two white arrows here located on the front, if you align those two, that will position the crane correctly to fall in between here uh, for storage. Um, there is also, it does rotate further than 360, but this is actually a, a stopping block, which is, don't use it as a, as a dead stop on the crane. Uh, it is not designed to take the full weight of the crane force. So it is more to keep, keep these hoses from wrapping around the crane itself. Okay, now we're gonna run through how to get your Equipter 5400 uh, hooked up to your vehicle, ready to tow. So first power on the unit. Release your parking brake. Now slowly start driving up to your tow vehicle. Again, your steering paddle is up here to the left. And line it up with the ball. Once you're lined up, engage your parking brake. Now, you do want to make sure your wheels are as straight as possible. Once you have them straight, simply pull this red lever out and go to the wheel lift and that lowers. Take them all the way up until this latch uh, or this lever latches back in place and that drops it down onto the ball. Now from here you can power off the crane and release your parking brake. Now it's just a standard trailer hookup again. So latch the ball, your chains, and your RV cord. So chains, RV plug, and the breakaway cable. And flip up the operator stand, latch it in place. And now you're ready for towing. All right, now let's disconnect the 5400 from your tow vehicle. I'm going to run you through how to do that. Uh, I'm going to disconnect the RV cord and the breakaway cable, as well as uh, flip open the latch. I am going to leave those safety chains connected um, just for safety until the unit is engaged. So lower the operator stand. Again, power on, and then start the engine. Now I am going to engage the parking brake as well. Once that's engaged, now you can proceed, pull out the safety lever, 
and lower the front wheels all the way. Now that those are lowered all the way, the, lat, the lever is back in place. That should have popped it off of your ball. Now you can proceed with releasing the safety chains. And release your parking brake. And you can start pulling away from your tow vehicle slowly. And you're up and running. So a few other uh, operational tips and some troubleshooting. Um, so here we have two different operator manual canisters. We have one on this side and one on the opposite side. Uh, they're going to include your engine manual, your brake actuator manual, uh, the crane manual, and then of course the entire unit itself. There's also uh, some extra pieces in here. There's a, a strap for your belly pack. Uh, some levers that I'll get into here in a minute, as well as an extra battery for the belly pack. Uh, speaking of the battery, uh, one thing I want to point out with these batteries for the belly pack, if you unscrew uh, this little thumb screw here, uh, take this cover off, that'll expose the battery. One thing with these batteries is you simply pull them apart and install three AA batteries. That's how you can change out the batteries for these uh, belly packs. Also up here, there is what's called a tether cable. In the event you have connectivity issues with your belly pack, you can unscrew this tether cable. And after that's unscrewed, you can simply screw it into the actual belly pack. This is simply just a cover protective cover so this tether cable you can pull out and directly hook up to here and it'll provide a direct connection to the computer uh, to continue to operate your crane. One last note uh, I had mentioned about those levers so if you open up this front compartment this is the main valve bank that controls all the functions so if you take one of those levers and screw it into whichever uh, function you need to operate you can operate each individual function manually so you simply screw the lever in there and operate it front or back okay thank you for watching if you do have any other questions or need assistance don't be afraid to call us here at equipter